Hi folks, welcome back to another video. This is DoorDash Sucks here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, could you please take a second to hit the subscription button, the notification bell, and the like button so you won't miss any more videos. I really appreciate that. And before I uh, do this video, so we're going to do another comment video. Uh, this is kind of overdue, and I've been doing this on a regular basis. I like doing this because you guys are able to hear other comments that other people have made on other videos that you may not see or pass by. And because I don't do any really live streams or anything, this helps you basically kind of a little bit converse with me personally. Now, in the future, I probably will do live streams. Again, I've mentioned this before in other videos that right now I really don't have the time to do it, folks. And I actually don't have... a uh, a situation where I can do that very much. And I don't want to do it just from the phone. So I'll let you know in the future when that, when that's going to transpire and I'll give you at least a week's notice so you can all show up at the live stream. And if you missed that, then you can see it uh, in another way, just watching the video after the fact. But with that said, um, I wanted to just update you on a couple of things. So I went through some of, uh, well, I went through my emails just to check to see if people sent anything. And it was some emails from people and I'll be com corresponding with you. All right. If I haven't already, I will. Uh, so check your emails on that. And, um, and as someone else, I have to contact soon and you'll know who you are when I contact you. And, um, the other thing is, is, uh, it's unbelievable what's been going on with the apps, folks. Like some of them, I mean, you know, they have all the, each one has their own little niche of problems that happens with them, whether it be getting paid, um, getting, you know, the right, uh, you know, customer service from them. And, you know, and I, I posted a, another roadie video, by the way, folks. So hopefully you'll watch that. Basically they haven't paid me. I don't think they have any intentions of paying me. It's pretty sad for $46, right? I'm just glad it's not a thousand or $2,000, you know, whatever. And, um, we'll have to see what happens, but, uh, I'm going to sue them in court. Be my, uh, it's not going to be my first lawsuit, believe me. And it's not, you know, the thing is, folks, you need to do these things to keep these these companies in line. If they're doing everything right, then you have nothing. There's no reason to do it. Right. But when you have a reason, you need to you need to stick to to it. it it's a bitch. It takes a little bit of time, a little effort. But in the end, hopefully you come out smelling like roses, as they say. Right. So, all right. Uh, let me just get into the comments here. OK. So we'll start with um, the latest comments. And this is Sabian Bean. Welcome back, Sabian. I'm glad you came back to this video. Um, th this is awesome because I needed to hear your comments on the roadie situation, and I'm glad you came back. So let me let me hit read more so I can read this. It says uh, She says, Brian, anyone who says roadie is, is great is a liar. I check gigs in every single state, and guess what? The gig, the gigs pay the exact same amount in every single state. It doesn't make sense because of cost of living. Yes, I've talked on the phone to them many, many times, but this was before UPS bought them. So, okay, so it is a UPS company. I had to confirm that. Thank you so much, Sabian, for letting me know this. You could call and actually talk to people, but there would still be a long wait. Now they say it's because they don't have enough support people, but they did months ago. They will call you if you really beg them to in the chat or if they don't understand what the issue is. Also, the chat lines are ridiculous. This just started a month ago or so. All these drivers are suddenly flocking to Rody and the chat is on average 50 to 100 people ahead of me. Here's the thing. To cancel a gig because the store doesn't have the items or it's the wrong size, they make you wait a minimum of 15 minutes before you can cancel. This is all important information, folks. By the way, I'm never using Rody again. Um, I even, No matter what happens, whether I get my money or not, 
It doesn't matter at this point. They, this company is trash, folks. Do not use Rody. I'm telling you. I, why would you? I mean, if I mean, if you're having success with them, well, good for you because a lot of us are not. And this in Sabian, I trust in her word. So, um, and plus, you heard what I had to say about them in prior videos. So she says they make you wait 15 minutes before you could cancel, but the help button is often broken, and it takes a support person to cancel it for you. So you wait in line for 30 minutes to an hour just to cancel a gig or whatever. And there are several support people who will end the chat on you for no reason. And by the way, this has happened to me, like this happened to me a couple of times. They didn't like what I had to say because I told them I'm going to sue you in court. You know what I mean? This is ridiculous. But this company, Rody, has to be exposed, folks. And I'm asking each and one, each and every one of you who are listening to this, this comment video, please share the Rody videos. Get the word out there because you guys are the drivers. You guys are the 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 boots on the ground that are working day in, day out. We need more people to, to comment. And I'm going to be pinning this comment, by the way, on this video, Sabian. This is excellent information. This is why I love doing these comment videos, because there's things that I don't know that you guys know. And so remember, you're all part of this community. I, this channel is growing. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, folks. I finally went into my back end of my studio. I went on my computer and checked everything out. I have the ads disabled on my channel. Now, if you're viewing any interest-based ads or any type of ads on videos in my channel, I have not given Google or YouTube permission to use those ads. As a matter of fact, I wrote them an email. I sent them an email telling them that I do not wish them to do it because I am not monetized and I do not wish to be monetized. So a lot of people may think that I make money from YouTube. I make zero dollars at all. I don't accept any donations. I don't take any money in. I don't work for any companies. I don't take side money. I'm doing this all for you folks because I love each and every one of you as a human being and as a brother and sister in Christ. That's why I do this channel, folks. And that is the truth. So hopefully you believe me and some of you that don't, well, you're out of your mind because I'm telling you the truth. So uh, again, you Google AdSense, I have not given permission to have them uh, do any videos on my, you know, any ads on my videos. If that happens, please bear with it, folks. I mean, the thing about it is I did send them an email telling them that I didn't give them permission. I'm waiting to hear back from them. So we'll have to see what happens. And don't be surprised if they like put like delete my channel or something happens. And I don't know what they'll do, but I know that it's insane. And I, I had a, I had a channel way back when doing gaming and stuff, folks. And I used to get, I was supposed to get paid that they stole Google stole money from me, by the way. Like I, if you want to talk about a lawsuit, I should have, I was scared at the time. I didn't do anything about it. This is back about eight to 10 years ago. The thing is I should have, they owed me like a thousand bucks and, uh, you know, it's, they, they took the money when they delete your account, they steal the money, they take the money. So be leery of that. And that's another reason why I wouldn't even monetize anyways, because I don't trust them. I don't trust this platform at all, but I have to, I'm on here. If I, if this ever, if this channel ever gets deleted, folks, you, you come over to BitChute, B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E, because I'll create a DoorDuck, DoorDash Sucks channel over there, or Uber Eats Sucks, whatever, something like that, or, or Gig Apps all suck, and you'll find me, believe me. <laughs> anyway, sorry for that little rant, but I had to tell you. So let me read more here. Um, so Sabian says, the roadie payouts are a joke. I never, ever let them deposit my money on Tuesday because I know I won't get it before Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Every time I just pay the ridiculous $2 fee once or twice a day so I know I get my money. Also, if I don't cash out by a certain time on Monday night, it gets direct deposited and you roll the dice on when you get it. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Folks. They are purposely holding this money back from me. I mean, just the fact that I had to wait. I'm, I've been waiting 10 days, 10 days. And people are like, relax, relax. 
I'm, I'm, I mean, I, at this point, like I, it's, I do care about the money. I care about this company screwing me. So this is why I'm going into court tomorrow to sue them. I'm going to file the papers in the morning. Um, it sucks. You have to do it, but you got to do what you got to do. So she says, um, Sabian says, uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, every time I just get a ridiculous suit all fee once, once, uh, twice a day. So, uh, so I know that I get my money. Also, I if you don't cash up by a certain time, Monday night, it gets direct deposited and you'll roll the dice when you get it. I'm not sure why you haven't received your money yet. That makes no sense. They are ridiculous. They play these games without money and they aren't even paying enough to begin with. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona also. Oh, you're out. You know what? You're out. Uh, Sabian, you're out near, uh, I think you're out near Uber Jeep, Arizona. And you're also out near Uber, Lyft, Phoenix, those channels. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, let's see. Rody is exactly the reason I created my other channel exposing Uber, Rody and the rest because I'm over the bullshit. Hey, uh, Sabian, I didn't know you had a channel. Uh, could you, in this comment video here, could you give write the, the channel name? what it is because i'd love to go and check it out i'm sorry some of you have channels and i and i don't know that so please let me know in the comments if you have a youtube channel and it's rolling and it's current because i'd love to go and watch your videos you know sorry about that uh she says exposing uber roadie and the rest because i'm over the bullshit so sabian again says roadie is owned by the u by ups they were acquired by them the past year not sure who owned them before though and then Thomas Schubeck says, I, I have a hilarious screen cap for you, Brian. I'll email it. Okay. If you guys want to email me, you email me at voice in the car 2019 at gmail.com. That's voice in the car 2019 at gmail.com. Now I have another email that's associated to my channel, which is uh, DoorDash sucks gig economy at gmail.com. So DoorDash sucks at uh, DoorDash sucks gig economy is all one word. DoorDash sucks gig economy at gmail.com. That's my other email. Okay. Make sure you write them down and uh, you can email both, but the other one I like using voice in the car, um, 2019 at gmail.com. And by the way, I guess I think that I checked my DoorDash sucks gig economy at gmail.com email rather than the other one. So I still have to check my other email. So bear with me on that, folks. Okay. So let me move on to some more comments here. Um, okay. Sabian wrote some more stuff, and this is awesome. She says, they don't deactivate you on Roadie uh, to wait. They don't deactivate you on Roadie 2, just to let you know. I've asked about this. They will ban you for 24 hours for canceling a gig late, and you get banned for three months for doing something like delivering to the wrong house and refusing to go back on, on your own time for free and deliver the item to the correct location. But they told me nobody gets deactivated. They just get banned. Uh, that's another thing that pisses me off. One night I had a return to Best Buy. And, and by the way, let me just tell you, I'll get back into this, this comment in a second, guys. I think the reason why this app is pro probably doesn't deactivate you and they just ban you, it's probably a ghost banning, a ghost pause, because they, like, until you go to try to try another a gig, like if you want to select a gig and then go do it, if it's not allowing you to do it, and you're are, and you've been activated, right? Then that means they are doing that. And it's the same thing as deactivation. You have a right to sue them in court for this, folks, because it would be wrongful deactivations. They probably didn't like what I had to tell them, but I mean, I don't even care about Rody. I was only trying it because it was an additional app. I have like 21 apps on my phone, 21 working apps that I can go to at all times. And the one that I my main one was in kind of is DoorDash, but I don't even need DoorDash anymore because deliver that. If I do deliver that seven, uh, five days a week, do it in the morning and at night, I can make probably more than 200 bucks. 
as long as I get those hundred dollar orders and then I could just kind of do a little Uber Eats or, or a little DoorDash and I, and you know what I mean? And I'm, and I'm working on all of that folks. Uh, so, okay. So she says, um, that's another thing that pissed me off. One night I had a return to Best Buy. Best Buy refused to take the items into the store, even though they were standing right there and the door was open. They refused because they refused uh, because they were uh, they were closing. Rody told me that I had to keep the items with me, bring them home with me, a hundred miles round trip, and then return them back to the store in the morning when they open, all for free. Meanwhile, you and that's and by the way, that's another reason why when I asked the guy, am I going to get paid more money than the twenty bucks for the thirty miles? Because I didn't know it was thirty miles. I only found that out after I took the gig, right? And they may have changed the miles on me, okay? But that that's my mistake because I should have really looked into it. But the point of it is, like, who the hell is going to do this this free stuff? We have to expose this roadie. Roadie's app is trash, folks. Do not do roadie. I'm telling you. Believe me when I tell you. It'll be more headaches than anything. Do not download that app, okay? It says, uh, let me see. And then it says she had to go 100 miles round trip and then return them back to the store in the morning when they open all for free. Meanwhile, you can't even do any more gig gigs because that one is still open. How is that legal at all? When Uber or another company makes you deliver a delivery mistake, they fix it. They don't call the driver and demand that you do what Rody told me to do. They fix it. I was told I'd be banned from the app if I don't do what they said. This has happened to me two times now. The second time I just left the expensive stuff outside the back door hidden and took pictures. The next day I told them that, that there, them, I'm sorry. I, the next day I told where the stuff was and I will never deal with them again. Oh, Sabian, thank you so much for the, all of this. Like this is, this is an awesome comment. And by the way, I have to go back in and I have to uh, pin your, your first comment. I wish I could pin all of these comments. Like this is an insane, awesome, awesome comment, you know? All right. So I pinned that one. Let me, uh, let me go back in here. Sorry, folks. Okay. Um, okay. So we know you value consistency and transparency. <laughs> <laughs> that's Thomas. Thomas, I love you, brother. Oh, I know. Isn't it funny? It's unbelievable, folks, what these companies are doing. It's just unbelievable. Okay, Sabian wrote another thing. I'm going to read this. Um, she says, Rody, okay, Rody is owned by UPS. They were acquired by them in the past year. Not sure who owned them before, though. Right, okay, I already read that. And then um, he says, uh, Thomas says, I have a uh, hilarious, uh, hilarious uh, comments to tell you. All right, so now there's there's more comments I have to get into. Um, oh, uh, Thomas says, only ever spoke to an automated for limited experience. It's a scam. Yep, it's unbelievable. It makes you They make you think that they're going to put you through to support folks, and you never even get to reach them. It's it's so bad. It is so bad, folks. All right, Jorge Marti, uh, Marquez. Jorge Marquez says, and welcome to the channel, Jorge. He says, I got to... I got to say, reading these comments, I wonder about the mind frame. Yes, sometimes customers suck or business do, but these apps have given me the opportunity to make so much money. I'm giving my family of 5.2K each, each for Christmas, but I, I'm not doing this forever. I have the mind frame of getting all this money and leaving. I think most of you think of this as a career. Think of it as an opportunity to stack up money to retire. And one last thing, my 10K I, I've given my family is my extra my extra from about a month and a half of pay. Hey, you know, Jorge, good luck to you. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not knocking you for doing the apps. I'm not telling you not to do all of these apps. Um, but I am telling you not to do Rody because Rody sucks. I mean, and you got to understand something, Jorge. I don't know if you're new to this channel or new to YouTube and know what's really going on, but I'm one of the only channels out here 
that really exposes what is going on behind the scenes and up front. And because a lot of these other channels are fluff and other channels. And that means that they're monetized. They're afraid to talk about issues that will affect the community because they'll think that people will unsub from them and they won't make any more money. If you're truthful with your community and you tell them the right thing, the things that you need to tell them, they're going to be way more interested. The, the, th the 1,100 people that are brave enough to be on this channel to be here to know the truth, I commend each and every one of you. You all need to have badges pinned upon your chest of gold and, and diamond badges that are worth millions of dollars because you know why? You deserve to have more money. You deserve to have a better living. You deserve to have benefits and and be able to take care of your family and your, fr your even your friends too. You know what I mean? Like uh we we shouldn't be working as slaves for these for these app companies. They all drew us in. They sucked us in to work for them. And then they start pulling away all the benefits. Well, there is no benefits, but they pull away the money. They steal from you at every every level. It is complete insanity what they do, folks, you know, and they need to be exposed, these companies. So, you know, Jorge, good for you. You were able to send, save up 10000 You know, most of us, I'm not going to say most of us. I'm going to say some of us are full-time as we do this full-time. So we take it a lot more serious than some part-timer that just comes in. And remember, they're watering down the entire community with drivers. And it's only, you think you're making 10000 now, you saved it. Watch what happens in the next year, two, three years. Tell me if you're making 10000 then. And I'm not attacking you, Jorge. I'm just saying you need to wake up and smell the coffee a bit. And we do take it serious. I mean, well, some of us do. All right. So good comment. Jorge says, again, easy way not to get tip baited. Um, let's see. Only go to Walmart by by rich neighborhoods. I very rarely get tip baited. Walmart Spark has made the most money out of out of all the apps. You need to still multi app. Now that's not true, Jorge. The, the most money made is actually DoorDash. I don't know if you know that by per capita. They're higher than even Uber. Uber used to be top top dog, but they're not anymore. It's it's DoorDash, Uber, uh. And well, Lyft is kind of out of the picture now. Instacart makes makes the most money, but they steal the most money from all of the people, too. Uh, you could look up all these numbers, by the way. Uh, he says uh, you need to still multi app one thousand four hundred ninety six dollars this week. That's a low week. Three seventy five from DoorDash, one sixty seven from Uber and two thousand over two thousand a week. Well, good. Good for you. I mean, you, you, can you tell me what market you're in? Are you in a city? You can't be in a suburb because you won't make that kind of money. You cannot make that kind of money in my market. It's just impossible. So it is market specific. But let us know in the comments, Jorge. Hey, good. Thanks for this uh, comment. And then uh, let me, I'm going to give you guys a hot when I do that, that says that I liked your comment and, and I read it. Okay. So the moon is always full, says all you have to do is file a claim with the labor relations office in your state. Court uh, court will cost. Uh, court co costs a little bit, but not much, folks. It's only going to cost me like 50 or 100 bucks, I think, total to sue uh, Rody. Uh, okay, deliver free Nana. I read your emails, by the way, uh, just a while ago. And uh, I didn't know you were from Wilmington. That's cool. Uh, and you're out in Texas now. So I got the emails. I sent them back to you. Thanks for uh, emailing me. Uh, so she says, uh, Brian, large order program definitely is the most efficient money out there. It's also exciting, by the way. DoorDash uh, catering bag sucks. Um, let's see. The big black Belliford bag is best and worth every penny. Yeah, I have that big black bag, by the way. I bought one of them. I know which one you're talking about. So thank you for your uh, comments and everything. Stay in touch. And it's nice to see a fellow Christian out here who loves God because I love Jesus with all my heart, soul, mind, body, spirit. That's that's who kind of turned me on to doing this channel, to fight for all the little guys, all the little girls, right? I mean, we need to get these companies to, to be honest and do the right thing or they should be not existing they should be put out of business stanley says you in like <laughs> you're in like flynn brother i hope it works out for you look forward to the videos and the other deliveries you make with it uh thanks a lot stanley appreciate you old memory says congratulations on the large order program 
the Chateau restaurant. I did one Friday night uh, at the Chateau and, let me see, and three restaurant, wait a minute, and the three restaurant, Parker's Pub, uh, but don't be taking all. <laughs> I have to make some money too. <laughs> Thank you, old memories. Uh, Richie Badola says, congratulations on the, the Lodge Order program. Oh yeah, so fo folks, for all of you that don't know, if you haven't seen the other videos that I put out, because I put out a lot of videos, you know, folks, sometimes I'll put out three, four a day, but I put one out explaining that, um, that I did get into the Lodge Order program and I was absolutely shocked. Cannot believe they actually let me in on it. Uh, I did make $136 in less than three hours. And that was the most money in the less in that amount of time. So, but they only did it one night for me. It was a Friday night and I'm still waiting I'm still waiting to um, to do more. I, I have to really test that out, being in the program. I want to see overall because, like I said, folks, what matters is your earnings at the end of the week. Every week when you go look at your earnings, how much have you made in the week? Okay, that's what, that's what it's all about. You know, you can't even look at yearly earnings. You got to look at weekly Weekly earnings, okay? So, uh, Richie Badola says, congratulations on the Lodge Order program. I don't believe they got you into the program because you've been dashing for two years. Uh, but because you went after Top Dasher, what, ah, you're right. It probably is because of Top Dasher. But because you went after Top Dasher, wouldn't make sense uh, all of a sudden that they got you into the program. I'm sure you tested tested it without knowing and I've noticed with other dashes, if you meet the requirements, top dash qualifications, then you will most likely be in the large order program. And and you know what's funny, Richie, is this is what I thought the whole time as I was doing uh, top dasher because I talked with my friend Pat and he said, listen, if you're a top dasher, you should automatically be offered the large order program because you're top dasher. It, it just makes no sense, right? So it, you're probably absolutely right. That's probably the actual reason why I actually did get in. I, I was shocked because if I hadn't a called in the month of me, because this is the month that I am top dasher, I'm not planning on making top dasher next month. If I get it, I get it, but I'm not going to, I'm taking orders and deliveries that mean make sense to me and that are profitable to me. If that means that I have to de decline every order and go to zero again, I'll do it because this is insane. And by the way, I'm, like I told you guys before, I'm getting off or getting away slowly away from the DoorDash program anyways. I'm, I'm just getting away from it. Uh, not not completely. There is there's still value there, but I'm not going to dash as much as I did. And I'm not putting all of these crazy hours just on DoorDash anymore. Let me see. Um, he says, I'm sure you tested it without knowing. I've noticed other dashes that you meet. If you meet the top. Dash your qualifications, then you'll most likely get into the Lodge Order program. Same thing happened to me and others in the group chat I'm in. I don't get catering orders, but when I definitely, uh, but definitely get a lot of large orders, hundred dollar plus subtotals, and they need and they tend to pay fifteen to thirty dollars in tips. Yeah, see, this is what I was saying in my video that I've noticed that a lot of people think it's all catering orders, like with all kinds of lots of food. It's not that it's all catering. You get very little catering orders, okay? But you get larger orders. See, they're preventing most of you regular dashes from getting larger orders. And so that what they want you to do is be qualified, right? And that is, it's wrong. It's a segregation program. And it's also a discrimination program, in my opinion. And not only that, but... Do you really think it is fair for someone who's been dashing more than a year that you showed commitment to them? Like I have over, and I'm, mine's nothing. I have friends. I have one that has like 13,000 deliveries in like six years. I have another friend with 11,000 deliveries. So 3,000 isn't a lot, but 3,000 deliveries is a lot of deliveries. You have to have experience after, after you've done that, right? So he says, uh, let's finish this off. Last Friday, I got five. $40 payout. So it definitely is worth getting into the program. Oh yeah. I, I see it. I mean, look, I made 136 bucks in two and a half hours. I can't complain about that, but that isn't every night. And I mean, it could be in some markets, I guess, but like it hasn't happened to me yet, but awesome comment, Richie. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. 
Uh, let me go back here. And um, so Thomas says, I, I t uh, sent the screenshot of an offer I received a while back, $24 going 2,455 miles one way <laughs> with a possible, with a possible return. Roadie is a bust. Are you kidding me? That's insane, Thomas. Oh, <laughs> the only thing that I'm grateful for folks and Thomas is that I didn't continue to drive for roadie like i didn't i mean it was something that i told you guys when i download a new app i only test it out like i'm i'm gonna go with apps that are making me money right that i already know perform well and give me money and make money okay and that's doordash and it can be uber eats but uber eats in my market sucks okay but i did make 130 something 36 dollars the other day with it's funny how it's the same amount of money 136 136 i did uh, and that was only in a couple hours too. And that was very rare. It was a, oh, so rare. I'll probably never have a night like on Uber like that again. But th these apps, you have to test them, folks, before you do them fully. Don't give them a whole week's worth of, of, of work until you know that money is going to hit your account the following week, especially if it's a weekly payout. It sucks, you know, and they make you, supposedly you have to do seven deliveries in the seven days in one week's time before you can get an activation to get quick pay, okay, or instant pay. So thanks a lot for letting me know that, Thomas. I'll be checking the email. Tyranny Watch says, my DoorDash app freezes. DoorDash does suck. Yep, absolutely. Cantara Bella, how are you, my dear? She says, we should have a community black book where all posts to each other who tip baited or scammed every driver. I, I, I agree with you on that. There is nothing wrong with an address or phone number without a name being listed on a private community board. I agree. Let's get one going. If someone can make that, I mean, I wish I had time. I'd probably do it myself. Maybe I should do it myself, but Oh, there's so much to try to accomplish folks to try to help this community. Cause we just the thousand, the 1100 people that are on this channel, Probably a few of you don't agree with a lot of things I say or do, but most of you do because the bottom line is what is going into your pocket every night or every week? How are you enjoying all the th millions of dollars you're making every week from these companies? It's a joke, isn't it, folks? Okay. Um, Katara Bella says system error fix is stolen tip tracked by FTC or will show up on the books. Oh, wow. Holy Moses. But why was it in the app, though? That's crazy. Let me know in the in the comment, Kintara. Uh, James, James Shabe says, like your videos. What what did you do to get on the Large Order program? Basically, uh, James, I got in there. I, I agree with R uh, Richard. Uh, uh, not Richard. Uh, what was his name? Oh, for God's sakes. My mind is gone. Uh let me go to the ones that I, because I, I, I'm, my memory, I'm trying to think of a million things. Sorry. Uh, came from Richie, Richie, Richie Badola. Okay. So he, uh, so James, what basically, I mean, you, you probably heard what, um, what I said about that. It was probably due to being a top dasher that I went after top dasher and I made it to top dasher. And because I became a top dasher, does it make sense for them not to put you in the large order program? Okay. Now here's the thing. I want to mention one thing quickly about the large order program. They, I, I read the terms of service and I'm actually going to put up a video next by next week or something about how you do get into the large order program and look at the parameters. But my friend, Pat, if he ends up listening to this, he can attest to it. He's been in the large order program for over three, three years, four years, right? He was offered the large order program. They sent him an email and they, and he actually went physically into the DoorDash office and signed up with, with his friend, Chad. Okay. So what happened was they got in the program and no matter what his acceptance was or whatever his, uh, you know, completion rates were, they never took it away from him. They, they're telling you in the terms of service that, oh, they can take that program away from you, but they almost never do folks because they need to get those orders out. So it's, it's a way to keep you psychologically pegged to what they, you know, like, oh, I got to keep my acceptance, my completion rate. 
You, If you drop below 80% completion rate, they can deactivate you. But I haven't really heard of anyone b going below 80, 80%. I mean, you'd have to really try to keep un, uh, unassigning or not completing a job for them to do that. However, you never know. Uh, Darlene says, Nick, uh, Darlene Nichols says, my catering orders never tell me that it's a catering order. Hmm. It should at the beginning, it should be in black and it should come up and say, take, take a photo of your bag, something like that. Julia Stryker says, don't sell out to DoorDash if they start throwing a few extra, uh, shekels in your large order program to buy you off. We need you out here fighting the good fight and holding their feet to the fire, Brian. Oh, Ju Julius, believe me, I'm telling you, I cannot be bought. If I, I know you guys, I know you guys and gals may not believe what I'm just going to tell you, and I've said this before. If DoorDash contacted me or any of these companies and they say, "Look, listen, we'll give you a million dollars to walk away, stop fighting this fight. Just, we'll give you a million bucks." I swear to you, folks, I would not take it because my my whole essence in being of the per what did Jesus say in the Bible? He said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? And I certainly do not want to lose my soul over a million bucks, because if I did that, that's essentially selling your soul. Never, never, Julius. You got my word on that. And that's why I don't monetize. I, and even Thomas Schubeck said at one time, he's like, don't let the money or the monetization or anything that you could make screw you up because then it then it will compromise you. And I totally agree. I totally agree with you. So Thomas says, I have I have never had a problem receiving payments from them, but the pay is hilariously too too low. Like it's impossible to say uh, of any of their jobs are actually worth the time and distance. Only slaves are working for that app. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And the fact that UP UPS picked them up and actually, you know, they, they're they the owners of them now or whatever, that means that that company was struggling to lose whatever it had. So UPS came in to like take it, take it over. I mean, it's ridiculous, folks. But, I mean, this isn't even a major, major well, I mean, UPS is a major company. But the roadie app, oh, folks, please believe me when I say, if you're thinking of doing roadie, do not do it. All right. Um, Chow, Chow Show says three violations in 100 deliveries, probably deactivation, not, not, days, at, not days at all. Uh, Timothy Slaughter, welcome, welcome back, my friend. Uh, it's good to see you. And sorry, I haven't been reading the comments lately, but I am now. Uh, Timothy Slaughter says, whatever you think about the automation plan, one thing is for effing sure, you won't see no damn $2 deliveries offered. Not if Tony's paying for it, bet the ranch on that. <laughs> I totally agree, Tim. <laughs> oh man. I love you, brother. Oh man. I'm so glad you're on. I saw, I'm so glad all of you are on this channel. Because you guys and gals are so wide awake. You're so wide awake. It's so awesome. Okay. Uh, Tim says, I don't freak out at all on these stories about automation. Here are some facts we can relate to. DoorDash has a hard time keeping the app running constantly and relia re reliably. What makes us think that we will have success with the fleet of a million automation devices? They aren't funding the support staff well enough to handle incoming issues from drivers, merchants, or customers. Tony is well known for a tight, a tight wad in business matters. They really don't have stockpiles of cash at Doras. <laughs> they do have a cash flow, but not the capital to invest the billions for this pr uh, proposed automation sweep. So, well, I does you're you're kind of right about that, Tim. But let me just say, well, let me just say, in, uh, butt in on that and say that a lot of these companies basically embezzle their money and they send it to offshore accounts or investors who are overseas. As soon as they make you know a billion bucks, they they just put it in other means. They get rid of it, so there's nothing there to really go after them. You're right about the cash flow daily and all of that. That's what keeps them going. But they, if you, tr that's why if you try to sue them for a billion bucks, good luck trying to get it because they, they would probably just claim bankruptcy or something if they had to do that. I don't, I don't know. This is my opinion. I don't know complete fact, but I guarantee you it's going into offshore accounts. Guaranteed. 
Uh, let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's see. Tony is well known for tight wad business matters. They don't really have stockpiles of cash. They do have a cash flow, but not the capital invests the billions for uh, for this proposed automation sweep. So many logistics to figure out. Where are they going to store all these units? The insurance cost and fuel alone will be staggering. The profit margins on these deliveries is next to nothing. It will actually require more human interaction from customer and merchants as they will be responsible for loading and unloading the devices. So I got a lot of doubts about it. Do I think it's possible small, a small scale, certain environments, almost as a novelty? Yes. But full scale replacing all of us? I doubt it. Not for a long time anyways. Well, I, I, I disagree with you on this one a bit, uh, Tim, and that's only because of what I've studied over the past even two years. Like my, it's, It would be hard to explain it in this video and I can't get into it. But if you, I mean, if you want to know more about stuff about that, you would come over to my Waking Up the Sheep channel over on BitChute, B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E dot com, and you search for Waking Up the Sheep, or you could click on my link and my about page and go there because I have plenty of videos on that. My, my channel covers vast amounts of stuff. And I'm telling you, they will unleash this and release this whole program. Even if it's a failure, they will do it. They will try to, to, to do it. And they, oh, there's going to be lots of screw ups, fuck ups, pardon my French. They'll, they'll be busting these drones. People will shoot them out of the sky with shotguns and all of that stuff too. I mean, because people won't, you know, they'll just do it for fun, but they will try to implement the entire program at some point. And I'm my guess, my guess, okay, from my, all of my fact, facts and figures is probably shortly after 2025, 2026, right around there, which is not far away. We're not far away from that. And it could be sooner. So I may be, it may be a lot sooner, but anyways, great comment. I love you, brother. You know that. Uh, Uber Lyft Airy PA says, all because you are a top dasher. Yep. And that's talking about the, uh, you're right. That means that the reason they let me in the large order program is because of top, top dasher. I believe that. I totally believe it. Plus the fact that other people have talked about that in the other comments or other, um, <coughs> community groups. No, I, I agree. Uh, Keller Bennett says, hi, love to watch your videos. I'm a dasher in Tacoma, Washington. I've been dashing for two months now. Wow. I can't believe how dishonest DoorDash is, is not to mention the DoorDash support. I screenshot every offer. And after, after that, I confirm my market is crazy busy. Lots of stuff to ask you and tell you. I was on shop and deliver for Safeway. It was sending me to one almost two miles away, new, new, oh, I'm sorry, uh, one new of one just mile away plus closer to drop off. So called sh ship, uh, I'm sorry, shit support. <laughs> and I asked them if I could go to closer, a closer one. They said, no, the card won't work well. I figured that they never tell the truth anyway. So I went and grabbed the one bottle of alcohol, swiped the red card, and just like that, approved. Plus, every, in other words, it works anywhere. They're just lying to you on the phone. Every order I get with a high tip from a customer driving the furthest north the app will send me is about 18 miles. Most highways, base pay is 2 to $3. I have, I have this all in my gallery, but I can drive two miles with $1 tip base pay, $5.00. Is five dollars. Anyone with a brain can see what DoorDash is doing, ripping us off daily. Also, ever every shit agent tells you something different. Also, hidden tips. I had that happen to me again Friday. If it was all it was almost 10 bucks, but they never showed me what the what the reason they do this. I like dashing. I really do. I do the, uh, I really like dashing. The money is good for me in my area. I hope we can get a class action suit against these turds. Also, I had a shop and deliver Friday for alcohol. One fifth of the cognac, cognac going 1.2 miles away for 450. I also had a manager help me find it since it's just a big store and they could get in and out quick. I figured no tip but took one for the team. Well, just like Pedro said, one, one of three things will happen. So, so he's right. 
Next day, scheduled my ratings. Uh, I'm sorry, checked my ratings, and I noticed that I had a three-star rating. Never had one star ever, so I called up shit support. Of course, the first agent said they can't see why they got the rating, why you got that rating, and told her, told, uh, told her she's lying because I had a support agent explain to me why I had a one star last month. Customer missing uh, item from Dormat. Door <laughs> he said it will be taken off, so I called back, and the wonderful lady telling me with no problem it was a shop and deliver from the total, the total wine. And more, more, the customer reported she got the wrong item. So she was refunded $63. You can't scam the wrong item. I'm sorry, you can't scan the wrong item or you can't proceed to check out the item she requested was in stock. Like I mentioned, in other words, yeah, if it shows it on the app, there's no way. I mean, it, it shows it. How can she say that she didn't get the item? She got the item. It's only going to scan the exact item. You're, you're absolutely right. I mentioned the manager even got it for for me scanned first try. I told agent she definitely has done this before and she's going to send the info and escalate this for for a review. I also handed the customer since it was alcohol and she had showed the ID at scan and never mentioned anything about being wrong. I'm going to call to check on this Monday, not racist, but the three people who rated me bad were blank and rating was on the order incorrect. Hopefully this makes sense. Anyways, advice, helps, tips you have. Be safe. Enjoy your weekend. You know, thanks a lot for this really long comment here. Uh, uh, Kellen, uh, let's see, Kellen Barnett, I appreciate you. Um, that's a lot of info there. This has happened to all of us. You just have to be vigilant. You have to learn how to unassign orders sometimes. And the low, remember folks, the low tip and no tip orders are always going to be the people who are going to give you a bad rating. If someone's going to give you a high pay, like, I mean, a $20 tip or something, you'll almost never see bad ratings because those are good people and they, and they actually care about you. You'd have to do something completely insane or wrong for them not, I mean, to give you a bad rating. So good comment. Uh, let's see. Robert Allison says, sorry, I've been apps in a few days. I've been dashing like a madman. I should break my personal record weekly door dash tonight. I'm 47 years old and beating my personal best records. Top dasher in San Angelo setting personal best records month after month. Good for you. I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for you, Robert. Hey man, if it's working for you, it's working for you, you know, but like, like I said, the, a lot of us are struggling. The rest of us are struggling. I am grateful that I'm in the large order program, but how long is that going to last? Are they going to pull me out of it if I don't keep my uh, my ratings to where they want it to be? You know what I mean? It's not it's not right. See, I want all of these programs ended, and I want them to be transparent, open ended, be truthful, and all of this stuff, for, so everyone has a fair shake. First off, they shouldn't be hiring as many people as they've hired. They've overhired the market. It's way oversaturated, folks. All right. Let's continue. Um, this has to do with you will be replaced by drones. And uh, he, this is David uh, Shields. He says, how do you rate a drone for friendliness? <laughs> well, that one, uh, that's a hard one. Uh, how do you know he's friendly, right? Uh, <coughs> Sheep Herding says, 101 says, did DoorDash remove the five-minute timer on the app? I got a, a gated community and the gate code did not work. And I could not reach the customer, so I went to the start timer, and it was missing. I then tried to contact customer service, and they sent me a chat to chat that was automated. So no matter what, I kept putting, uh, I put in and kept getting the information wrong. Then I called separ a separate number. I keep handy from the internet, and finally got customer service. And of course, the person in India and it speaks broken English. Yep, of course that's going to happen. Sorry that that happened to you. No, I think the timer is still there, but they could have removed it because a lot of people were complaining about that, you know, and I'm one of them. I don't like that timer because it's going to hold you up. It's just causing more wait time. It's stupid. Um, 11 Bravo said the real people that prepare for the future will just delete the DoorDash app and go find something better to do with their time. Anybody that's worried about losing their job with DoorDash probably never had a life to begin with. 
Uh, I disagree with you on that, 11 Bravo, but I'll, I'll say good comment to make. But the reason I disagree is because a lot of us that started with DoorDash, we took it, we took it serious. We wanted to make it a career. I know that sounds funny, but there used to be a way to make really good money. And now these companies have made it really hard for us. So it's okay, though. You're entitled to your opinion. He says, uh, does anybody think a little strange that the guy went for Top Dasher and made 10 videos about it and ever since wait i'm sorry and ever since he made top dasha he hasn't made one video talking about top dasha what's really going on brian there's nothing going on a matter of fact if you guys want me to write in the comments what you think and if you want me to make those long those long uh videos listen what i'm doing i and i've reported this and if you guys want me to show i mean i show full transparency folks the only thing is I don't have a camera to record myself 12 hours a day in my car. I mean, I'd love to do a 12-hour live stream because guess what? I wouldn't be fake and phony like some of these other channels are to report false earnings. And when Pedro Santiago reports earnings, he's reporting the real earnings. I know he is. I know the guy's truthful. So I have to stick up for someone who is being truthful, okay? Now, with me, you get it just like it is, as dry as toast. I'm telling you now. Top Dasher is not the way to go. My acceptance rate, I'm going to show you. I'll show you my acceptance rate. I'm going to do, I can't add it into this video because I'm trying to um, keep this con continuity so I don't have to edit. I can just upload this video. But believe me, I'll do, I'll do a video someday. I'm going to do, a matter of fact, I'll do it really soon. I'll do it from start to finish my entire day. And I'll, it'll probably be, a, be about a two and a half, three hour video again, every order that comes in and you can see what I declined, what I don't decline. Okay. So believe me, I'm not screwing with anyone. 11 Bravo says, uh, this is not, this is never going to happen. They've been talking about driverless cars here in Vegas for the last eight, eight years. They're not one, one on the street driving people around. Okay. Well, 11 Bravo, when it happens in the next year and a half to two to three years, can you come back and, you know. Give me a, you know, a ice cream uh, soda or something with a, a piece of cherry pie and say, hey, you were right about that. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to be right. You think I want all that stuff, but I know a lot of things you don't know. A lot of things behind the scenes that I don't share here. Trust me, they are bringing in those cars very soon. Whether they work or not is another thing, but they are going to flood the streets with them. You watch what happens in the next two years. Watch. Levin Bravo says, anybody that's worried about losing their job with DoorDash has a lot of mental issues and doesn't know how to live a life uh, is the worst job in the United States. There is no other job that is, is, bad, is, is as bad as working for DoorDash, Grubhub, or Uber Eats. There's nothing worse they would worry about losing a job where the people's McDonald's, I'm sorry, where the people at McDonald's make more money per hour than you do. Uh, and give me a break, man. Okay, listen, dude. First of all, let me just tell you something. I worked for 30 years in an engineering field, and I'm actually currently waiting to get, uh, actually, when my birthday comes up in December, I'm waiting to get a pension from that. It's not a great pension, but when I started doing this, I was, and I, by the way, I worked as a delivery driver for many, many places for years. I, I have 20 years taxiing, and delivering food to people before the apps came in. Do you, do you guys even know that? <laughs> the apps are, are new to me, all are newer to me in the past 10 years, only because I, when I did it, I was in the 80s and 90s. Okay, so I'm kind of showing my age here a little bit, right? But I'm very young minded and I'm not that old. But I have, I mean, I've had a career. This is, I don't have to do this work. But I choose to do it. But what I'm saying is I'm pissed off at what the companies have done to me and done to other people. And we need to expose them. It seems like you're I mean, you're not trying to defend them. And I understand you're saying they suck. But like there's a lot of people that this is all they can do or this is all they want to do. There's nothing wrong with that. 11 Bravo. OK, I'm just letting you know that. Anyways, thanks for the comment. Big Ed says. Why don't you, why do, don't I have the dash now button all the time? Like you, you're right. Because you're smarter, Ed, and you don't do, you don't try to do top dasher. And by the way, I'm not trying to stay top dasher either. 
And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do more videos. I mean, they're coming, folks. Don't worry. You're going to see more videos, and I'm going to show you. Right now, I'm at 51%, by the way, and not because I want to be. Uh, so Greg Shea says, Brian, appreciate all your videos. As a general comment here, I believe your new governor. Oh, yeah, she's a piece of garbage. The new governor for the former attorney general Mass, you and your fellow Dasher buddies should be massively lobbying and writing the legislators, le legislatures, put all that energy into real change. I know good old Marty Walsh, he's a scumbag too. Now, all of these people you're naming, I know, I, I don't know them, but I know how bad they are. They're scum. Is looking into these crooks um, in Washington now. You need actual real proof and documentation. All gig tube tubers need to stop infighting and start trying to create real change. You can start that. New York City drivers did it, and now they have full transparency. You need numbers and volume and not class action lawsuits. The, well, you kind of do, Greg. You do. You need both. Uh, why do you think? And by the way, folks, I do have a petition. Go to my about page and copy and paste the petition into your um, your address bar. Go to it and sign up and read those petitions. There's two of them. One's from Pyro and one's from my channel. You need to sign them if you want real change. He says, um, let's see, you need numbers and volume and not class action lawsuits. The lawyers get all the money. Coordinate a protest outside DoorDash headquarters in San Francisco. They, they Listen. This is this is done on a daily basis. There's people picketing all the time. Picketing is not going to do anything for you. L lawsuits and actions will. I mean, it's just bottom line because if they get multiple. And by the way, Greg, I'm not I'm not attacking you, my friend. I'm trying to say this to everyone. The answer starts with you. W O U. Look in the mirror. Go into your bathroom right now and look into the mirror and look at yourself. You, I, I'm only one guy here, folks. One guy, Greg. How come? And I'm not. I mean, I'll turn it around on you. How come you're not doing it? How come you're not going into the court and suing them? I'm gonna. I'm doing it, and I'm going to do it. And there's lots of secretive information that I've never shared with any any of you on this channel. Things that'll friggin' twist your head and blow your mind. You'd be. You'd be. Your jaw would be hanging down if I told you some of the things I need to tell you, but I can't do it at the time right now. But the thing is, look in the mirror and it starts with you. I've told you guys for over a year and a half, almost about a year and a half now on this channel, how to do things, what you should do. But has anyone taken that advice? Some of you have, I've seen in the comments. Like I said, I'm not attacking you, Greg. I'm just in a general sense too. I'm trying to say that every, and you are right. All of us need to stand together. There's no question about it. I mean, a lot of that stuff is coming, but there's a lot of big changes coming, folks. They're going to make people employees before we're able to suck them dry of all the money that they stole from us. So we, we, we have two mountains to climb. We have the, the independent contractor employee crap, which they're going to make us employees. And then we also have to go after them for the money that they stole. Good comment though, Greg. Uh, oh, and let me read the rest. He says, I know you don't want to monetize your channel, but with all respect for you, this is an opportunity for your contribution and many others with a voice that can be made louder in words in conjunction with your videos. Expose them all, Brian. Right in the right to the SEC. Anyone in power can do can get the ball truly rolling. One step at a time. This is God's work you are starting for us. The little guy's getting screwed, but it can be so much more something to consider. Yeah, no, listen, I'm doing that stuff, but I haven't told you guys yet. You don't think that I'm on the computer 24 hours a day, writing up letters and emails and talking to people? I, I have something to share with you guys, but I can't disclose it. I can't tell you about it. I, I was, I, I got uh, an email from someone who's interested in bas basically trying to help the situation out. Let's put it to you that way. And it isn't like someone didn't bribe me and say, cause they said to me in the email, you know, we're not, we're not wanting to sell anything to you or give anything to you. There's a lot of options going on behind the scenes, folks. I just can't tell you here. There's a lot of big things coming, like unbelievable that would you, you'd just be blown completely off the planet if you knew, <laughs> but I can't tell you here. I'm sorry. I can't, but, uh, in the future, maybe. Now, Richard Bailey Jr. says, 
this definitely will happen sooner or later. The real question is, though, what is the price of the price difference between choosing a drone? See, Richard knows this definitely will happen sooner than later. The real question is, though, is the price difference between choosing drone, air delivery, or regular delivery. We all know that DoorDash will charge a delivery fee, that the fee will be higher for the drone service. A cheap, miserable customer who never tips may may not choose uh, may not choose the air delivery for this reason, but it's hard to know without seeing the pricing. Well, they're, they're not going to put a tip in there for the drone. I mean, it would be stupid, right? Because it's all going to the company. <laughs> I, I look forward to more info coming out about this, and thank you for dash for the Dashing Trader for always sharing these informative videos. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. All credit goes to Dashing Trader for that, that actual video. Let's see, Bob Side says, all those people that are saying they never get their order will now have a drone as well. <laughs> yeah, because guess what? They'll probably steal the, the drone. What happens if they do that or smash the drone? <laughs> it's crazy. Let's see. Vibring says, good video. What's your favorite area to dash in mass? Um, well, probably the uh, the Foxborough area. Foxborough near the Patriot Stadium. That's my favorite area. Uh, let's see. Gregory says, more door dash propaganda to try and, and get investors excited. They are desperate now. They they aren't profitable. They still will be operating a net for a net loss. Will fail horribly. Horribly. And like some person will be injured or killed when it mal mal one male functions. I do agree with you on that, Greg, uh, somewhat. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is they will try to implement this fully, even if it fails. Because you're right, they are desperate, but they are going to go through with it. I can guarantee you that. I have an inside source that has told me this, and I can't reveal that source. But it is going to happen. It's just I don't know the exact time table of when, but I'm guessing within two years from now or less. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Uh, it says, um, this was like Uber trying to self-drive cars to pick up passengers, but failed so badly. It seriously injured and killed a pedestrian in Arizona. I remember that. That ended up selling Waymo to Google for a massive loss. Yep. No, I know about that, but they're still going to do it. You know, if you guys knew some things that I know, you'd be you just be blown away. But one of the things is their plan their plan is to kill everybody, by the way. And if you think that I doubt if I if you doubt that, right, you might be like, what? It's not that DoorDash is planning to do that, but the New World Order is. And you need to come over to my other channel, folks. I told you this a million times. Go over to Waking Up the Sheep, start watching videos upon videos and learn some things that you don't know about. Okay. Okay, good comment there. Um, and sorry to blow your mind because I know some of you are like, what? You're, you're just like, you're in shock right now, right? Uh, so 11 Bravo says, nobody cares, bro. You put too much stock into working for DoorDash. When it gets bad, you get a real job. Simple as that. No, I listen, man, I agree with you. I agree with you. How can I not agree with you on that one? Of course, I'm not that stupid. If it gets so bad that I can't live or survive, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to jump on something else. No no sweat about it. Thomas says they will get vandalized and stolen horribly, scrapped for parts. No, I I agree with you. Corinthians says call me a conspiracy theorist or alarmist if you want. But I if I think drones are going to be, get one one of the means by which nuclear payloads will be delivered and detonated when the time comes for the US to be destroyed. The Bible says Babylon will be destroyed in one day. Yep, in one day in one hour. Without warning, people will be so used to drones as a part of consumerism, consumerism, convenience culture that they won't expect, suspect a thing. I do agree with you on that. I totally agree with you on that, Corinthians. Oh, great comment. Tom Young says, I think you have watched batteries not included too many times. <laughs> Tom, I'm giving you the award of the year, the, the thorn... The Thorn in My Side Award of the Year. That means you get a million dollars from me once I once it gets donated from a charity or something. I'll give it to you, Tom, all right? <laughs> Tom says, so my cheeseburgers are going to fly to my house for McDonald's. Now, it's funny, folks, because if you think that this can't happen, look up videos on food drone delivery in Australia and other places. Look it up. 
don't, don't just take my word for it. Go look it up, folks. Look up stuff. I've You know how much material I have to cover to bring to you on this channel? I mean, it. The, I, there's thousands and thousands of hours of, of research that goes into it by doing between doing both of my channels. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So Tom says, so my cheeseburgers are going to fly to my house at McDo uh, for McDonald's. You have lost the plot. Who is going to buy all these drones and keep charging them up? You want to know the answer to that, Tom Young? How about this, this one? The government. Because it's all government run, even though you see on the on the on the surface that it's companies. But who controls those companies? The government. It's called fascism. Look it up. Everyone. Okay. Christian, let's see, Overly says. The world already using airplanes to transport items. Why you you guy worry about drones with not enough power to fly? They have enough power. They have ones that have never been released to the public, but they they use it for commercial use. They had they have they have ones. Do you know that they have ones that are solar powered and they can just completely continually run, except if the pots run out, like if the propeller gets jammed or something like that. But they have ones that can go 24 hours a day. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says, this one has to do with, are you a gig worker, delivery ride share driver? Uh, let's see. If no one's working, who's going to buy the stuff they're selling? <laughs> That's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying. Um, Waddy Hamilton. I live in Blackwater area. I can guarantee you they're going, they're going to be shot down. The shotguns are just for fun. No, I said that. I agree with you. Of course that's going to happen. And the reason that's going to happen is because the drivers who see that are going to say, hey, you're stealing my, you're stealing my, um, my, my work from me. But do you know that over in China, do you know that it's a, a government crime in China to shoot a drone down? Like you can be put in jail. I think the sentence is like 50 years in jail if you do it. And they have ways to zoom in on you by the camera to make sure that you don't do that. So you better have some black hoodies on and, and be able to escape out of there uh, when they when they make the laws. They'll they'll make federal they'll make federal aviation laws so that you can't do that. You know what I mean? Or if you do it, you go to jail. So you risk jail time. Deliver free Nana, how are you? She says, Isn't Amazon already using some drones for deliveries? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, Julia Stryker says, I've been watching the Southern Prepper one for years and he's great. Uh, let's see. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad you are, man. That guy's awesome. Julius, you know that I'm awake. I know you're awake now that you're watching his channel. Joe, uh, let's see. Joe Decci, Joe Decci B says, talked about the missing dashes that uses are experiencing in, or I don't know what you mean by this. Talk about the missing dashes that users are experiencing. Um, you had, need to elaborate a little bit more, Jodecki, because I, I don't know what you mean about that. I'm sorry. Big Ed says, Brian, I'm talking to you. I'm taking <laughs> I'm taking you to Small Claims Court on Monday. Your videos are causing me pain and suffering. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and I love you, brother. Oh, man. Oh, thank you for making me laugh. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Okay, let's see. King Sin. Say, oh, and his, I forget what your name is. Is it Jerry? Oh, I forget King. But let me just, I'll address you as King Sin. He says, I work full time at a car dealership. Oh, his name is Barry. That's it, Barry. Hi, Barry. I work full time at a car dealership, but my boss also owns tr a trucking company. He said that there are more drivers and trucks available than loads. So the price of loads are way down. Can't believe the re that report said, the, there is a driver shortage. Ah, oh, man, the lies they will tell you. Okay, I mean, but here's the thing. It's I I I watch a lot of sources and stuff. I'm not saying it's it's world uh, it's nationwide, but that shortage is going to come through the way of not being able to use the trucks when the diesel exhaust fluid and all of those things that make the truck go are not available. That's how it will be shortages. Plus the fact that they are going to implement the the driverless trucks to get rid of the truckers. They don't want truckers anymore. I mean, they, when I say that, it's a plan. It's a Cloward and Piven plan. 
You got to look up the New World Order, my friend. You got to, because if you don't know about that, then you wouldn't know about what I'm trying to tell you. So with that said, let's move on. Good comment, though, King. Big Ed says, I did a 30 a 38 cents a mile round trip delivery for Rody last night for $51. Two big screen TVs from Walmart. Did you get paid yet from them, Ed? Do you have any problems getting paid? Please let me know. I want to know. William Joseph says, great video as always. You're, you're welcome, my friend. Ray Santana says, I love a time for judgment's work since, since 2015. Yeah, he used to be called a call for an uprising, if you guys don't know. A time for judgment's channel. Please go over and watch him. He's great. Uh, Richie Badola says, I enjoy these long videos. Keep it up. Thanks. Thomas Schubeck says, it sounds like this guy is saying the purpose of human beings is to have a job. It's not. You're right. It's not. Cantara Bella says, L SLC Utah gas uh, is $4.09. 445 ranchers have slaughtered their flocks because feed is too expensive. Dairy is about to shoot up locally. Rotted food on shelves, quality and quantity plummeting. Let me tell you something, folks. She's absolutely right. And I went into a dollar store and I bought a couple of candy bars. I bought a Snickers bar, which was good, and a Baby Ruth. When I bit into the Baby Ruth, it had a moldy taste to it. I mean, I spit it out immediately. A lot of the food that these that is getting delivered are coming off of the Chinese uh, container ships that were sitting out in port for lots of time. And now you got to be you got to look at the expiration dates. You got to see if the food is bad because they're serving bad food in a lot of these stores. Thanks for that comment, Kintara. Tom Young says. Autonomous vehicles will never happen. Slave economy will go bankrupt soon as well. Uber is eighty dollar billions in the red. Blah blah blah. All right. Well, we'll we're gonna see who's right or wrong. You want to bet me say five or ten thousand dollars, Tom, that I'm right and you're wrong? Let me know in the comments. But I need all your information. Send it to my email so when I, it's time to pay to get the payout, I can sue you in claim uh, small claims court because you didn't pay me the five grand. <laughs> all right. And you can do the same to me, too. So we'll shake on it. All right. Now, Celine, I'm sorry, Selena Chandler. Welcome to the channel. She says, honestly, I don't see an issue with having affiliate links and doing sponsorships with companies. It's not like Brie inherently. This this was about the video that I was exposing Top Dasher and I was also exposing exposing channels. So let me read it again. Honestly, I don't see an issue. With having affiliate links and doing sponsorships with companies, it's not like Brie inherently gives bad advice like take every order or the diamond program is the only way to make money. She gives good advice, and honestly, her channel is targeted to an audience containing new drivers who are still trying to learn. Yeah, but I'm trying to teach all the new drivers too, uh, Selena, because people need to know both sides of it. And I'm not monetized and I don't make money and I'm going to expose channels that do this type of stuff because she could be helping the community by telling them the dark side of, of DoorDash rather than telling them how they can make $300 a day. And I'm sorry if I sound a little huffy here on it, but that's just the facts and the truth. <laughs> and I'm going to tell everyone hardcore how everything is. Now, she says... Um, she gives good advice, and honestly, the channel is targeted for an audience containing new drivers who are still trying to learn as she always preaches declining orders that doesn't that don't pay well or have too high a miles. Yeah, that's that's cool. <clears throat> She's just trying to help out new drivers or drivers who have no idea that acceptance rate doesn't matter. To call her channel a fluffernada seems out of place. No, it's not, because she is a fluffernada channel. Because the way I see it is she seems fake. She's like, hi, everyone. This is Bree. How you doing today? I want to show you Walmart Spark. You know, blah, blah. Instead of going, hi, this is Bree. How are you today? I, you know, I want to show you Walmart Spark. You know what I mean? It's that's a, And fluff or not is uh, always get paid. They get paid no matter what. The money is is the motive. It's not the mission. It's not the the the... It's not the learning process. She's not teaching the right way. If you're going to have a channel like that, then you should be showing the dark sides and exposing other things, which she has no knowledge of, obviously, and she doesn't care. So that's fine. Um, <clears throat> not She says, not every content creator is going to make to be making videos that are heavily opinionated that are ranty like you and Pedro. 
well, obviously you don't agree with my channel and that's fine, but you're, you're part of the problem too, Celine, because you, you're, I mean, I don't know if you have a channel or not and nor do I care, but I'm here to expose everything. And in the future, I would hope to gain some, uh, notoriety at least about the fact that I'll have some of these companies shut down and not existing in the future because this is going to create a movement against the companies who are bad uh, just bad uh, making bad uh, payouts to us they're stealing from us they're hiding tips hiding item counts not showing us miles adding too many miles this is ridiculous this shit needs to stop and it's going to stop okay if I have anything to do with it and that's fine that you don't like the rants, but you're going to hear it whether you like it or not. And not everyone should be obligated to opinions like assholes everyone has. We are entitled to our own opinions, including the... You, see, and I can tell you right now, you are a Joe Biden supporter. I can tell you right now. Absolutely. And I'm not left or right, folks. I'm, I'm not in the middle either. I am a constitutional republicist. I love the Constitution of the U.S., I love freedom and I love freedom of choice to the point of what the constitution and God says, because my, my King is Jesus Christ. It's him and the constitution, all honor and glory goes to Jesus first. And we have to expose the idiots that are out here. And this is one of them. Sorry to say, uh, but we, uh, we are entitled to our own, own opinions, including the choice and whether or not we want to voice them. I'm all for, calling out content creators who just straight up give bad advice, but to call out content creators who main focus on their channel isn't constantly shit talking these companies. That's right. I'm going to shit talk them because I'm the one who's gotten stolen from before and ripped off. And when I, when I, when it happened to me and I find out it's happening to everyone else, that's when we all organize to go against these companies and channels like breeze will not exist in the future because she's going to have no content to report on when the companies either go out of business through bankruptcy because we've sued their asses off for stealing the $44 billion they did from all the, uh, the uh, drivers and all of the customers, okay? So that's what my job is here, okay, honey? Let's see. Um, let's see. No hate, but you are using the cookie cutter way of running the channel. You judge other channels because they aren't adhering to it. Just because you are exposing these companies and, and aren't monetized on YouTube doesn't mean every other content creator needs to follow suit. No, I'm not saying that. If, if you're a good content, content creator and you're not getting bought and paid for by sponsors like DoorDash, who is screwing the drivers, then I have no problem with you. If you're making your money honestly, then that's fine. But when you're going to stand behind a company that you knowingly know is screwing everyone, then I have a problem. And that's when I expose it. Okay, I truly do admire what you do with providing free content and calling out the companies, but we live in a free country where people could do whatever they want. Hope this makes sense. Well, let me tell you something. Instead of people doing what they want, they should be doing what Jesus Christ wants because he's Lord and Savior of this entire planet and this entire creation that you call Earth. Okay, so why don't we start doing what God wants us to do rather than what people want us to do or what you want to do? It's called the Ten Commandments. You should look them up sometimes, my friend, Celine. Sorry, but I had to be blunt there. Okay, moving on. We're almost done with this, these videos because I, uh, I have to go and dash very soon, folks. But I'll resume another, uh, con um, another comment video soon. He goes, Julius says, man, you're so right about these clickbait or fluffing out is keep exposing them brother see see how i have a backup here you know people agree with it and i only seen one negative comment so far or two from tom young and celine so i don't see any others but i'm you know look she is entitled to her opinion she is but doesn't mean i have to agree with it she doesn't have to agree with mine but one one side or the other is going to win against the other side i can guarantee you that and I, and I doubt it's going to be them. We will win. I will win. Okay. I always win. When, when Jesus is on your side, it says in the Bible, it says, if you have God with you, who can be against you? Or if Jesus is with you, who can be against you? Right. When the Lord is on your side, Stanley says, I get 339 in 
West Virginia and 359 in certain parts of Maryland or Mich I don't know. I think that's Maryland. Thanks for the comment, Stanley. Matt R. says, Ride Along with Bree is just another ordinary channel in lack of substance. The only reason, the only reason why she has 21,000 subscribers is because she is good look, a good looking woman. And I, I, I'm telling you, I was right about that too. So it's it, women have an upper hand on YouTube and on Twitch too. There's a whole bunch of hot girls on Twitch. They all do gaming and stuff. People aren't on there to watch the games. They're on there to watch the girls because they're creeps too. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I get it. There are probably 20,500 sex deprived men that subscribed and only 500 women that know, <laughs> know any better. <laughs> yep. You will see in the comments from men. Hi, Bree. And when she loves your comments, those men probably have the biggest smile on their faces. Yep. You're absolutely right, Matt. Uh, Tim Slaughter says, actually, UPS doesn't pay its company drivers adequately, so they have a new angle. That would be us. Yep, that's why they bought Rody out, Tim. They bought it out because they're not paying enough, so they're like, okay, we'll get the, the uh, peons to do the deliveries. Uh, Sinen says, for me, they disclose, if they disclose, they are the sponsor as, a, wait, I'm sorry. For me, if they disclose that they are a sponsor or affiliated, it is not a big deal to me. At least Bree did that, and I'm not gonna actually lie. I'm 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 not gonna lie, and actually gave me some helpful tips. When when I started Spark, since she sponsored, she is sponsored by DoorDash now. Let's see if she still declines low offers, and if she still does in her videos. It uh, let's see, the one the ones that are sponsors are not disclosing it. Then push the app or program like crazy that I don't like. They are supposed to say that they are a sponsor. It actually a YouTube rule. The one clickbait, the one that's clickbait just for click like paid to drive is also also I don't care for. He just shows desperation making like a hundred to one minute videos in one day. That's a, a exaggeration. Um, just try to uh, wait, just try and get a click to make money, ouch. I mean, jump off the DoorDash Uber train a while back. I still do Spock, uh, which is still gig work for now, so I continue to watch. Just stay to inform the going into the industry. I don't watch these clickbait YouTuber channels. Nothing is more annoying than a YouTuber that pumps out 10 out of 10 minute videos in one day when they could be easily group them together and make a 20 minute video. I agree with you. Uh, Incognito Channel says these apps are Illuminati. You're absolutely correct about that. If you guys don't know what Illuminati is, I-L-L-U-M-I-N-A-T-I, -I, you need to look up that term and find out what it is. Call J.G. Wentworth. <laughs> Let's see. Dashing Trader is a great dude. He's hilarious. Saul Gigman, what's up, man? Messy Mob says I still could, could, could have given a cash tip to the Dashing Trader but didn't. Try doing no tip orders at night in the rain. I like, I, mean, I do like Bree. She's nice and she doesn't take crap orders and tells drivers not to. No, I, I get it, Messy Mav. I get it. But I'm just saying the thing that pissed me off about her was she was, she says she's partnered with DoorDash and DoorDash is the problem. They are a big problem. And until that problem gets solved, how come she doesn't talk about things that I talk about on my channel, exposing them? Why? Because she has everything to lose because she's a fluffer, not a channel. She makes money. I don't make any money. Folks, I could I could go against my word and, and monetize this channel right now. I could, I'd probably lose all of you if I did. A thousand of you would unsub. But guess what? Then some suckers would come in and I could start saying, hey, let me show you how to make $300 a day and make fake videos. Is that what you really want? I mean, come on. I don't, I don't do this channel for money because I love Jesus, because I know that my reward is in heaven and I'm not even looking for a reward. I just want to live forever in a place that people love me. I mean, well, when I say this, love God and then love me as well. In other words, we're all loved, but we're loved by Jesus. We're loved by God in a community that accepts you. I'd rather be in a safe haven and all my thing, my worries, cares and everything being taken care of by a, a creator who created me than to live on an earth of uh, a planet of prisoners. We're all prisoners here. Jesus came to set captives free from this bullshit that's happening to us, especially through slave labor. 
And the only difference that why people say it's not slave labor is because you have a choice to work for them or not. And I get it. But you know what I'm trying to say? Edgar Hernandez says, what you said about us, a low acceptance rate getting good offers uh, because of people who are taking every order like 10 miles away for a few bucks. They're saying in Mexico that translates to more corn. Wait a minute. There's more corn where there's less donkeys. So basically there's more money when there's fewer jackasses. <laughs> good comment. All right, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to I'm going to end this comment video. I hope this helped a lot of you. I hope that you enjoyed the comment video, but I wasn't trying to do it for any other reason but bringing awareness to you all, folks. And I love each and every one of you. And I'm sorry if I got a little angry, a little pissed off at some of the comments, but my channel has a purpose here. And my channel is not about money. And I do appreciate the people who thank me for doing it for free because I could easily go away and never come back and say, screw you. If you don't appreciate my content, then tell me, maybe I shouldn't be here. If you want me gone, tell me you want me gone. You know what I mean? I'm doing this for free, folks. You know, I'm not doing it for, and no one pays me. DoorDash doesn't pay me on the side. I mean, why would they pay me anyways? I'm bashing them. Do you see any links to any, any affiliates, anything I'm selling on any of my videos? Do you see that? Do you see anything except one channel that I want you to go over to because it's a religious channel. It's called Waking Up the Sheep, folks. It's on BitChute. Go to my About page. Click on it. Stop watching videos. All of them over there. Okay. King Sin says, sometimes happened to me, Brian. My name is Barry, by the way. King Sin is my gamer name. Uber Eats has put me in a doghouse. That means they're pausing him or they're ghost pausing him. They are purposely attacking me. I had a flat tire four days ago. I was finishing an order at apartments where I received the order and pay from Uber Eats. That took me a little while longer. And I thought when I was leaving to go to the order and, and pay in the pay bang, I got a big metal shrapnel in my tire. Since it was an order. Sorry, folks. Uh, uh, remnants from my cold. It's going away, though. Since it was a order and uh, order and pay, I didn't drop the order. The tire fought me quite a bit, and I guess it took longer than I thought. I did phone the order in so the food was ready, and I got there. The customer got hot food. I guess I forgot to message the customer and uh, get the delay, which is my fault anyway. Not a bad rating, and I did look at the time, and it was 49 minutes when I know it was long. But the order, it was an order, uh, pay and, uh, order and pay. Immediately the next day, Uber app doesn't receive, receive orders in the background. I called three times now and they blame it on a glitch in the iOS, the operating system. I know it's a lie. My wife and me have the same phone, same provider in riding with me and the app doesn't do that. They are lying. I know it. I called them and told them I know that they're timing me out purposely. Sorry for the long message. Now I can't use Uber Eats in my market unless I have it running in front, in front, which I don't do DoorDash in the busier app. Yeah, you know, I would consider suing them in court, you know, King Sin, seriously, because it's the only way you can get things accomplished. Talk to a lawyer or go to a small claims and put a lawsuit in on them. And in the lawsuit, describe why you feel that, that you've been wronged and why they owe you money. And you, But you need to have proof. It's not what you say. It's what you can prove. You need proof all the way, okay? With that said, folks, appreciate each and every one of you. Sorry this is a long, long video, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you will be listening to this in your car as a podcast. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for all your comments. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, folks.